Welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. This time it's a guy named TJ that's going to be suffering the battle with me. That sounds terrible, but who cares? Let's get on with this battle. Once I decide to actually get done ready for this battle. Ooh, did the 3DS get off of center? There we go. Now let's get ready for this battle. As a black screen goes on. And TJ is issuing a challenge. I think he either challenged me... Or I challenged him. I start off a chandelure. As we know what happened to some things. When that thing came out. Then I switch out. I'm like, oh god, god, Trump. No, no, no. We ain't getting... We ain't dealing with that. And I go to Gardevoir. I knew that he was going to go for something like Crunch or something like that. And then Garchomp does take about half of my health, which... I kind of wasn't expecting. I, put, I think this is a time whenever I had a moon blast, so that's what I used. Yes, it is. You can either teach it through heart scale or level 85, which I did at level 85, because now my Gardevoir is level 100. And then he sends out a Espeon, which I do have the Shadow Ball. You gotta have that Shadow Ball to deal with the other psychic types. And there goes... Espeon sends out his own Gardevoir. I don't like the look of this. He also has Gardevoir, right? Which means that's our two Megas, is both Gardevoir. Almost like Garchomp, because that's what I've been using lately. Anyways, I go for another Shadow Ball. I did not expect it to take it out, but I did want it to take some damage before it used something. But instead it used Hypnosis, and I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to go and attack me, but I guess not. Since my thing has max speed, that's why I probably outsped it. Then the other one uses Shadow Ball, and I'm like, why didn't you use that before? I mean, you would have taken me out in one hit. Anyways, I go into Greninja. This one is a special Greninja. It's got Protean. Dark type. It also has a King's Rock if you want to know. Why does it have a King's Rock? I don't really have anything else to put on it. Then he brings out that and I brings out Talonflame and I change to the water type and use Hydro Pump. And take out Talonflame. That thing can be a very viable threat if it has Gale Wings. Adamant Gale Wings is always around. Sends out a Umbreon, which I use Ice Beam trying to get the freeze hacks. And I don't get it. And then I switch out for that dig and switch right into High Dragon, who has Levitate. No dig shenanigans for you, Umbreon. Then I go for the spec boosted Dragon Pulse. I thought that that would take it out. I have no idea why I use Psychic on a Dark type. <coughs> Anyways, another Dragon Pulse takes out his Umbreon. Yeah, we got a good team here. And now I'm kind of in a bad situation because of. I don't want bullet or I don't want U-turns to completely annihilate me. So I switch into Chandelure. And oh, he used bullet punch. I get the technician idea, but okay. And he uses another one. I don't remember oh yeah, this one has flash fire. I haven't bred Chandelure yet. I plan on doing it, but anyways, there goes his scissor. And I take life orb damage. That's what this thing. Alright, sorry about the abrupt ending. Someone came into the house when I was trying to commentate and stuff. Anyways, the question of the day is... What retro track that has not been done yet would you like to see in Mario Kart 8? Like, mine is going to be Neo Bowser City from 3DS. Because that is my favorite track from Mario Kart 7. Followed by uh, TikTok Clock. And then Warrior Coliseum from the GC... And, well, the GameCube. But TikTok Clock is from the DS.